What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the news. Let's get right into it. Okay, first up, Exalted Soul Cleaver now has a classic tag in game, meaning that it's going to get replaced by a newer version. Deja Evil on Twitter, uh, this could have been a last week's news video. My bad. Uh, this won't happen again. I'll make sure of it. Should have checked that. Personally bad. I shut this out in the stream though, so hopefully you saw it. Uh, might be a new class. Now we look at the design notes post that comes out a few days, a few weeks later. I think it was a few weeks actually, like a week later. Now, on this design notes post, we see a lot of the things that are coming out for Deja's birthday that I'm really excited about. Uh, classic Soul, so Exalted Soul Cleaver update. So what it says here is that we're getting ex uh, Exalted Soul Cleaver. A, I guess, better version of Classic Soul Cleaver. Soul Cleaver in game was such a bad class. Like, I was a new player to the game when I got this class. Fairly new. Not not that new, but like on one of my newer accounts when I came back to play the game, I still really didn't know much about it. Uh, yeah, I got this class and it's not, not, not very good. It's not, it's not a very good class. So... They're bringing back a better one, Exalted Harbinger. So Soul Cleaver and then Classic Soul Cleaver, but then we'll have Exalted Soul Cleaver. And so that's the updated skills original art. So you can use that one. There's the updated skills, that's very confusing. Uh, not really though, not really confusing, but there's a lot of different versions they're adding. So there'll be one, two, three, four, five, six different versions of Soul Cleaver. Well, three of each, I guess. But Exalted's uh, Harbinger, Harbinger, Harbinger class will be the new one. Harbinger. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. I, yeah, words are hard. Uh, if you remember the Legion with a stockpile of Legion tokens, get ready. The Queen of Envy armor will be a permanent farming variant for Legion members. The AC armor version will be only available during the birthday event. I wonder if that's going to have a different art or like different coloring. We'll see. Probably not. Uh, and then we'll go rare. Your fellow heroes and artists, Exeros and Furrow, have created wicked gear for the rare shop and to farm, plus Arkin, Arklin, and the class team are rebalancing Soul Cleaver class to bring it up to the 2018 balance standards, which means they're buffing it. That's what that means. They're they're not changing it. It's gonna get a direct increase in damage and viability in the game, which is great, because that class deserves it. It's an older class and it definitely needed an update. All right, we well, still got a lot of cool stuff to talk about. I, I know I showed the, like, the class stuff first. That's probably what most people are interested in. New hairstyles. Uh, this is for Lakin. This is Lakin. I uh, changed his name and he does art for different stuff now. It looks like he does concept art. I think he's working on concept art for games. I'm not 100% sure what he's doing uh, now for work, but uh, he used to work at AE, not officially anymore, but he is coming back to finish off the Lakin Saga in Adventure Quest Worlds. And this is some new hair art for that saga. I love this art and I can't wait to see it. I think the saga is coming out or the it's going to start. The last part of the saga will start at the end of this month, I think. Don't hold me to that. You can correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section, but I'm pretty sure it's starting at the end of this month, which is really cool. We're getting Lakin and Dej on in the same month, which Dej's birthday is on the second, the first Friday, one Friday after the next one. Okay. Now, if you don't know what this is by looking at it, I'll explain it. So this is Stretch. Is that how you say his name? There's an E there. I don't know what the I don't know what letter the E is making sound normal, but okay, yeah. Grammar. Spelling. Words. They're hard. This is Card Clasher. These are the cards for Card Clasher. Card Clasher class never went rare. It was out of stock in the shop, but it's coming back. This is a picture of them printing out the cards. This is a sheet of the cards that they have to still cut, I'm pretty sure. I'm really excited. I missed Card Clash here when I was in the shop. I never had the money for it. I do have a little bit of money, and I should be able to afford it, hopefully, when it does come out. So we'll see. We'll see. That'll be good. I cannot wait for that to come out. That'll be on Hero Mart soon. He's been teasing it and saying that it's coming out, that Card Clash is coming out for a long time. Uh, this is actual proof that they're printing it. That's a good thing. Uh, and then Alina replies to a person with some criticism about it being rare. 
And we are also getting in touch with the wiki team. So you gotta read this part. Uh, when the items in question are sold out uh, and the game item is labeled rare, this is all all or none situation. Bring all hero mart in game items back this way or none. There's no middle ground here, which is definitely there's definitely middle ground when it comes to rare items, uh, especially hero mart stuff that never officially goes whatever. Uh, so Elena replies with, "We are getting in touch with the wiki team so they can update some of their rarity tags, which unintentionally gave players the wrong information. Not their fault though. It's how their tags work." So, yeah, when the wiki says something's rare, that means you can't get it, which technically you can't get card clash or class right now, so technically it is rare by their standards, but it's not officially rare by the game dev standards of it never being uh, back again because it's a physical item. They can run out of stock of physical items. They can't run out of stock of an in-game item if they're selling it in-game, but they can definitely run out of physical cards. So they ran out of physical cards and they, didn't, they weren't printing anymore, but now they're printing more, so... It's coming back into stock, which brings it back into the game. You'll be able to get it again. Very cool. All right, so Elena asks, which of these would you like to appear in the future gear shop available for adventure coins out of two sets? These two sets are right here. Now, Dark Knight 1. Dark Knight is the one on the right. So that will be in the shop for adventure coins. Sword on the back looks really cool. I wonder what that sword looks like, like the whole sword. Uh, that one, they're both really cool sets. I guess this one will be either farming or something else. And this one will be in the shop for ACs based on that poll. If they go by that poll, they don't have to. It's just a Twitter poll, but that's pretty interesting. All right, more about update news. Meeting with the team for this week's release, Polish updates to Sword Haven and Shadowfall, creating a permanent static version of the 2010 Hork War plus rewards after eight years. Uh, yeah. So pretty cool. If you were around in 2010, you might remember our micro wars. Never intended to go perma rare. We will be returning permanent versions of each of them over the course of the year. That's really cool. Can't wait for all those micro wars to return. All right, this is a set of armor from Fur or a set in a helmet. It looks really nice. It looks really nice. So I want to show you it. Uh, the shading doesn't look done on the boot or arm. This might be older art from Furrow. I just found it in a Legion like sort of playlist uh, highlights thing on Twitter. Looks really cool, I thought I'd show it here. Furrow does officially have art coming out for Deja's birthday, so if you're looking forward to that, there's also a really badass shield to go with this that I showed in a previous news video. If you wanna check that out, you can go check out a previous one or, or check out Furrow on Twitter. I link to every news story I talk about in this is in the description of this video. So you can check that out, Furrow there. Uh, this really cool armor set is gonna be coming out. I th think it'll be a farming reward, maybe ACs, we'll see. We will see. That is all of the Adventure Quest Worlds news we have for this week. If I miss anything, make sure you leave that down in the comments so other people can see it. And I will see you guys tomorrow on the live stream. Now, I do have a little bit of AQ3D news, and I will be streaming tomorrow when the update comes out. Uh, what is Dage? So this is a cool little pose. If you didn't know, Dage is actually colorblind. It's a little fun fact. Uh, and if you want to know more about Dage, the, of course, the link is in the description. You can read through this whole thing. It's kind of just a fun little post. Uh, explaining what a dage is so if you want to know what a dage is you can definitely uh read this post and there's some cool info, info about dage there and to start the legion aq3d i'm recreating the undead warrior my first adventure quest world's armor getting a redesign i actually didn't know that was his first un uh adventure quest uh, armor i wasn't playing originally originally when the game like first came out the legion was erased i, I started a little bit after that so I didn't know, I wasn't aware that that was his first ever armor. That's really cool. So there, you might have learned something at the end of this video. Thank you guys for tuning in. There will be a brand new class. So if I didn't explain this properly enough, and I'm, this is what I'm most excited about, the Dark Harbinger class is the sister class to Soul Cleaver. So it might have a similar style of gameplay with the class, but it is a new class, so I don't know how it's going to differentiate from being a sister class. I don't know. Do we have any sister classes in the game already? I don't think we do. We do have some classes that are kind of similar, but not a lot of, but they've never been directly tied together before. So this will be an interesting thing to see, and I'm pretty sure this is going to come out next week. So I look forward to that. I will definitely be streaming when this comes out. I'll have it as soon as it comes out, and we'll be using it, so check that out next week. Uh, tomorrow will be the normal live stream we have every friday for the update 
the update isn't that big of content update but there could be some cool stuff in the update it could be some new stuff there's they're definitely adding new gear to the update so that'd be cool but we'll have to wait and see for that see if that's any good tomorrow thank you for tuning in leave a like if you like the video subscribe to this channel if you're not ready subscribe to my second channel if you like other games that aren't adventure quest worlds i upload fortnite and pubg there in the past two days so if you're interested in that sort of stuff i mostly upload like shooters and stuff like that on that channel uh like uh a lot of battle royale games, some dirty bombs, stuff like that, games where you shoot other people. So if you're interested in that kind of content, my second channel, uh, it's kind of low effort stuff. I might put some commentary and stuff on the second channel, but right now it's just like uh, going over updates and stuff for games. So if you want to see that, I have a Deagle gameplay for Fortnite on the second channel. So if you want to see some headshots with the Deagle, I upload a video about that on my second channel. So you can check that out. The link will be uh, either in the description or just check my channel page. On YouTube and it'll be the first one on the sidebar on YouTube if you're on the browser I'll leave now thanks for tuning in and I'll check catch you guys all on the stream tomorrow peace peace